Right now, we are at the East Gate of Yangtze University. Let's move inside and explore the campus. This area has such a warm, welcoming vibe because it's the place where you arrive first after a long hectic journey from your country to China. Now we are heading toward hostels. Our dormitories are arranged in rows and columns, given the number like T123. This one is a small shop near dormitory where you can buy daily necessities like bread, milk, water. Now we are moving toward old ISO building. This is the place where we used to recharge our water and electricity card units. Just 5 minutes away from your hostel building, there are some courts where you can enjoy basketball, table tennis or badminton. Beside these courts, we also have this big football ground. Now we are heading toward North Gate. This is our love garden, a really cool place where you can come with friends and chit chat. Now we are at the North Gate. Just beside the North Gate, we have our first teaching building. Right now, we are in the center of campus and accommodation is almost 10 minutes far away from there. Now we are going toward the place where you start your journey with orientation class and end your last day as convocation. This 12th building is mainly for scholarship ceremonies, meetings or even graduation ceremonies. A lot of questions how lectures work and how lectures building look like, especially medical classes. So this is our main teaching building, 14 building, where you can find all medical labs, anatomy labs and even traditional Chinese medicine lab.
Other than library, there are a lot of great places to study and learn inside the campus. These buildings, especially 14 and 13 buildings, are great space for teaching and learning. Just beside the main teaching building, there is a park. It's one of many beautiful green spaces that we have in Yangtze. So close to the West Gate that when it's sunny, it's perfect place to grab some lunch and drinks between lectures. always used to walk in campus unless it's raining or I was late. In that case, I would love to use Hello Bike. These cheap but convenient bikes are everywhere. You can simply scan the QR code on the bike and ride it anywhere. Everything is super close to Westgate, halal restaurant, hangout places and gym, except your hostel. <laughs>